training day, Officer Hoy. It's your chance to give me a little taste of reality. You think you can handle it? I will do anything you want me to do. Will you? Let's see. A. D. N. It's headphones deal! Neil here, back with a or back with part one of two of a character spotlight review of a pair of movies. So recently, I was watching some TV, and a Denzel Washington movie called Training Day um, came on, and I only had a chance to watch maybe 15 minutes of it or so, not too much. And I got to thinking that I hadn't seen that movie in a while, and then I got to thinking that. Uh, which of his um, movies did I like better, uh, Training Day or American Gangster? Granted, American Gangster is more of a period piece based on uh, real life events, but the realness and grittiness that I had remembered of both of the films made me want to rewatch them. Um, and especially since both films are personal favorite, uh, favorites of mine as far as Denzel Washington movies go. Um, Equalizer was okay, but these two felt more up, more in his wheelhouse, and, or at least he portrayed them very well, or he was directed very well to do a good job. So for this particular review, I wanted to cover Training Day. Um, it co-stars with Ethan Hawke, it also stars uh, Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre. Um, and a few other random people that you would kind of expect to remember um, coming out of watching the Fast and Furious films the one character that does stand out the most is um, Hector from the Fast and Furious films who shows up as uh, one of the friends of Cliff Clavin's character I forgot his name their names in, the, in Training Day but um, these are one of these are um, the guy who plays Hector in Fast and the Furious also showed up in this film, and then there's a few other random people who, when you see their faces, you kind of know that they're they've been around in a lot of movies. You, they've played various characters over the years, but they're pretty recognizable. So overall, this film is one of my favorite Denzel Washington fil films because of the way he portrays the character of Alonzo. So throughout the film, right. At, right up until the very end the way he portrays his character as um this is the only way to make it as a narcotics officer in the lapd is by going his route um you have to be a little dirty in order to do a lot of good you let the little fish go to go after the big fish and that sort of stuff um countered with ethan hawk's performance um his officer hoyt um as a person who's had coming to grips with does he want the job as a narcotics officer versus giving up his morals in order to get that position or does he stick with his morals and not take the position or does he do something about it in order to um, stop corrupt cops like Alonzo who are putting away a lot of criminals but also um, doing it in the worst possible way so does he want to get rid of people cops like him who give other cops a bad name um, because they're out there to protect and serve and he's ultimately oppressing the neighborhoods he's supposed to portray, protect. So overall, um, throughout the film, you see how it's progressively getting more gritty, more dark, um, and it's progressively escalating as far as the things that um, Denzel Washington's character is making Ethan Hawke's character do, um, ultimately getting to the point where Ethan Hawke decides he's going to do something about it. And when he goes to the neighborhood, neighborhood with the Damus, and to um, go after um, Alonzo himself, um, he re he under or he goes into the neighborhood. At least from what I could tell, to go after Alonzo because he's not he's not going in to take over the neighborhood. He's not going in to change anything that's going on in the neighborhood. He's going in to take out a negative threat in the neighborhood in the form of Alonzo who's oppressing people and um, not letting them live their lives or ultimately um, move up um, in life to do better so all in all that I thought the film was very well done I liked or in this movie um, Denzel Washington does a really good stare throughout the film he's very consistent he presents everything in a way that's 
kind of like your friend next door, kind of like the, um, he's ultimately portraying a devil-like character and he presents things that you want in a way that um, you want to take it, but if you don't do that check against your morals, then you might, you'll lose yourself in the process. So, and we kind of, you know, we don't, they don't really go on this too much as far as the rest of Denzel Washington's crew. So, um, the guy that Martin Lawrence, um, the guy from Martin Lawrence's crew that goes against him in Blue Streak is part of that crew, Dr. Dre, and a couple of other characters. One guy I could have sworn he's one of the cops from Nash Bridges, but I couldn't be sure on that. And they're ultimately, going in they're following the alonzo program to move up and through the uh, ranks of the lapd um as far as ultimately or being cops becoming narcotics officers and getting up to detectives so all in all a lot of elements uh, were portrayed and they were all very well done and they leave it at the end as far as ethan hawk's character took out alonzo or denzel washington's character but they left it as far or left it uh, vague and open as far as whether or not he took the position um, as a narcotics officer so um, I want to say probably say that he did or he was potentially forced out or not given that position so he went back to being a regular beat cop possibly so regardless it all worked for me and I like the conclusion with the um, Russians as far as um, Denzel Washington's character not getting them their money in time so all in all a self-contained film and one worth watching if you want to kind of see Denzel Washington's character play a uh, evil corrupt cop but and try to corrupt a good cop and put him through these or have him do these various things to go down that road but Ethan Hawke ultimately holding to his morals. So that's all there is for this particular review. So if I was to grade the film now after all these years, I'd probably give it about... I mean, I want to give it a solid A. There's very little that I want to say is negative about the film. Um, overall, it's good. The uh, whole idea that Denzel Washington works out of his car um, because he's always on the go. Um, his whole thing has all his various little speeches about the various things that Ethan Hawke needs to do to be a part of his crew uh, generally work. And I think that's kind of why I like the film is that they had the ultimate thread resolved as far as Denzel Washington going to Vegas, beating up a Russian, or potentially beating up a, a Russian monster or gangster, and then them ultimately coming to kill him for not paying the money back and for retribution. So that was really the only overlying story arc, but it was all the little individual stories that played out really well. And then, um, for example, when Ethan Hawke first goes to Cliff Clavin's and Hector's house to look for Alonzo and they're ultimately they're going to take him out but then they find out that they saved um, Cliff Clavin's um, cousin from being raped and they let him know that it was ultimately just business that they were doing for Alonzo and Ethan Hawke, Ethan's char Hawke's character is just there to take out Alonzo, he's not there to do anything else. He's taking out the evil threat for the neighborhood and doesn't want anything else to do with anybody. He's not there for anything else or anything like that. So, like I said, overall I want to give it a grade of an A. I mean, if there is something I missed, it may potentially even an A-, minus, but nothing less than a 90% for the film. Overall it was good. The uh, character portrayals were very well done. Um, the progression moved along at a nice even pace. So all in all it worked out nicely and then by the end of the film all the storylines that they started off with were tied out by the end of the film. And then the little flip as far as the end of the film that um, when at one point in the film Denzel Washington's character tells Ethan Hawke's character that do you want to be the cop on the news where they say that um, an officer was shot and killed today he survived by his wife and infant daughter and they turned that around and they had the closing of the film do the same thing but with Alonzo's character as far as um, an LAPD narcotics officer was shot and killed serving a warrant he survived by his wife and four sons so little things like that overall generally just work so um, I don't know I, for me I like the film it's rewatchable now and in general something or a film that everyone should watch so with that being said the next film or part two of my character spotlight review of films is going to be the or denzel washington's other film that i like american gangster so 
look out for that review coming soon and then after I rewatch that I'm going to do a compare and contrast as far as um, which film I mean ultimately I'm probably going to come to the conclusion that I like both films or which one I think um, Denzel Washington's character fit a little bit better uh, in I think from memory that he he did the he landed the, his, the stare that he does well in both films but I want to rewatch them now back to back after all these years being separated from watching the films just to see how they hold up. But that's all there is for this particular review. So if you have any questions, comments, feedback, stuff I missed, stuff you liked, disliked about the film, then you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. The website is HeadphonesNail.Reviews for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. But thanks for tuning in to this particular episode, and until next time.